We're actually at the Hong Kong Basco office today. Um, we do some uh, live testing of the Drobo 5DT. Yep. Right. Yep. And um, I've been taking pictures of stuff that Hold we'll on. review later on. Closer, That's yeah. okay. That's okay. And um, yeah, it's been a lot of work in, 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 in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Crammed it all in. So yeah, so we have the uh, Drobo 5DT. Uh, it's all uh, ready to go. Yep. And uh, we will be testing this um, when we have the hard drives. Actually, we're still missing the hard drives. Oh, damn! What's yeah. happening to them? So, we're waiting for the hard drives. It'll probably be these. These are the uh, Western Digital 1T. Uh, we'll be using these. Yeah, um, we had them last time, but yeah. then... I don't know why, but after, after the women fish testing, they took it back and then it's disappeared. And um, so we have to get new drives. Right, so we'll be putting five of these in to this Drobo. Raid what? Uh, probably whatever raid they set up on the Drobo. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, um, and then we'll have uh, some benchmarking software on our MacBook Air. It's uh, Thunderbolt 1. This unit is actually Thunderbolt 2, but we'll, we'll probably max it out, right? Two or three? Two on this one. Two, okay. Yep. We'll max it out. But what's, uh, what's so interesting about this drove, it has a 128 gig SSD card. Cash for cash. Yeah, which is uh, at the bottom of this unit here. Cash. Cash. So Winston needs this in front of him because he can't remember what the lights means. Because <laughs> it doesn't have an indicator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have uh, five Western Digital one terabyte drives. We're gonna we're gonna put them in like so. Very simple. You just slot them in. Let me, uh, that's one. That's two. That's three. The thing with the, the whole Drobo setup is that it's designed for people who are not that technical. You just want to put the drives in, run the software, and then away you go. Very simple, it has the uh, drive B action required uh, template here, showing you the uh, green, the uh, yellow, flashing uh, green and yellow, red, and um, tells you the types of uh, uh, failures and, and any uh, status. All right, so we're gonna power this up. And uh, uh, as you can see, if you can see it, it's uh, uh, showing the blue LED at the bottom, which means this uh, is powering up. And then you have all the different um, status. At the moment it's yellow, so it's, uh, I think it's gonna be configuring in a, in a sec. So we'll, we'll see if that works. Hopefully, once it's uh, all green, uh, we can actually then uh, format and see how that runs. Okay. Okay, let's power my, my Mac and see what happens. And this is in the software. All right. Uh, this one's uh, Thunderbolt. So we put the uh, Thunderbolt into the Mac. Sorry, actually. And uh, hopefully it will detect the Drobo. Incidentally, I'm running the uh, Drobo dashboard, which you can download from the Drobo website. I'm just waiting now for the uh, status at the moment it's all red. So I'm thinking we need to uh, get this uh, fixed up. So we'll use the uh, Drobo dashboard. Okay, so it's, it's recognized the 5D. Uh, 5D TM, yeah. And we will See if we can get this. Uh, 
tools. Okay, Re Drobo reset. What's this? Uh, reset all data. Erase. So reset successful. Your Drobo device has been reset, and now hopefully we will format the drive and then configure this as one uh, NAS storage. Five drives, one T, uh, once formatted, minus the hot spare. You're looking at around about 3.5 gig, uh, sorry, 3.5 terabytes. Um, let's, let's take a look. It's going through the motions, yep. All the lights are flashing, which is a good sign. And we're waiting for it to uh, recognize the drives and uh, let it boot up. Drobo to recognize those drives. We just reset the, the system, erased all the data from the old RAID setup. And uh, we will now prepare this Drobo 5DT to accept these hard drives five one terabyte drives from Western Digital and we will uh, let Jobo configure them uh, in, a, in the format which is the uh, the RAID system beyond RAID the beyond RAID then uh, is a great system where it, you know it, it it's literally hot swap expandable um, you can put different drives in there it, it doesn't you know the old raid system used to be be able to for example if you set to raid 5 on those drives uh, at those sizes it's you have to get identical drives for it to uh, work but the beyond raid you can have different sizes of hard drives for example at the moment we have all one T's right here in this unit so we can we can actually put uh, for example another uh, take one T out, put two T drive in there, or even a possibly a four T drive along with the other one T drives. So you don't have to get identical drives. So this is a good thing about the uh, Beyond RAID. So the Drobo 5DT allows you to uh, configure this this device to any capacity you want. It doesn't have to be identical drives. Ideally, yes, but uh, in the real world. Um, you know, different. You get all different sizes of drives, but yeah. Okay, so now I believe it's all green, as you can see, all green, and uh, we will then now check out the drive on our. Okay, so um, yeah, as I was saying, the uh, Drobo reports this uh, device or NAS storage has having uh, over seventy terabytes obviously uh, it does not we have five terabytes uh, of uh, hard drives here one terabyte each it's five in there um, so the actual size let's have a look at the Drobo uh, software the Drobo software says um, yeah you're looking at total size of around about three three point five terabyte so uh, I think which is more than enough and uh, status is good and we will do a speed test. So live speed test, let's have a look. At the live speed test, of the Drobo 5DT configured to run on the Mac. Okay, so looking at the, uh, uh, we're gonna be using the Discmark software, which you can download from uh, App Store. Um, I'm gonna select a volume. So let's select a volume. Let's select the volume. Select Drobo, and then we will do a uh, random sequential read and write, and also a uh, read write test. Yeah. Okay. So uh, again, the MacBook is running at um, Thunderbolt one. This unit here, the Drobo 5DT, is uh, Thunderbolt two. So you're not going to get the full Thunderbolt 2 speed. However, um, we will probably see a, sli a slight speed, in, you know, increase with a Thunderbolt uh, uh, drive, uh, Thunderbolt um, 2 MacBook. Uh, let's see what the speed is on our uh, MacBook Air. 
this mark 1.5 we're running uh, there you go so the internal hard drive that we have here is the SSD and uh, we got around about 769 megabytes per second essentially on the random read so let's try sequential write so sequential read was around about 669 megabytes per second and then the write according here is 226 so it looks to me is already maxed out but we'll do another test with a different software and this would be the um, the black magic disk speed test and with that uh, we will find out what kind of uh, speed this drobo 5dt uh, transfer onto the uh, macbook all right so we've got some good speeds on the disk mark. And now finally, yep, the uh, Blackmagic disk speed test. Um, I'm getting 229 megabytes per second on the uh, right and around right about 316 on the uh, read. So if you had a Ma Thunderbolt 2 uh, MacBook Pro or any of the uh, Thunderbolt 2 devices um, then you probably get a, a better speed improvement uh, with the uh, Drobo 5DT. So we've got some live testing right here. Um, so Fun kit is right here at the uh, Basco HK office, and today we're actually testing the uh, Drobo 5DT. Um, it has a built-in 120 gig uh, SSD as cache, and we have five one terabyte drives set up in here, configured uh, using the Drobo Beyond RAID system. Uh, it shows uh, 3.5 terabyte storage once fully configured and formatted um, when you do the info on the MacBook it shows a capacity of over 70 terabytes but obviously this unit do not have 70 terabytes I think it's saying that it's capable of having up to 70 terabytes but um, the beyond raid is is a very nice feature because you don't have to uh, use um, the identical drives you can actually put different size hard drives here uh, and then beyond raid system will then uh, configure it to the correct settings again this is uh, designed for people who are not very technical you don't need to be technical you just put the hard drives in and let the drobo uh, uh, software configure it and that's pretty much it we've got leds uh, on the uh, front panel here showing you the green uh, status of the system the green is good um, the, the yellow there it means you need to add a drive flashing means uh, uh, you know don't remove it's doing some work and red is is, is is you need to add a drive and then flashing red means you're okay, playing drives probably are faulty uh, and needs replacing but the status is very simple you don't need to be a technical in that sense you just need to uh, um, read what the status says and then do the uh, action accordingly uh, so right now we're running on the uh, the black magic the speed test and uh, using the Thunderbolt cable Thunderbolt 1 on the MacBook Air Thunderbolt 2 on the uh, the Drobo again uh, I have to say we're not getting the full speeds of the Thunderbolt 2 obviously it's maxing that on the Thunderbolt 1 uh, right now we have uh, the write speed at 226 220 megabytes per second on the read is up to about 300 megabytes per second which is uh fine to be honest with you uh something perfectly different law you, you can use this for video editing live kind of uh, stream directly onto the macbook um of course if you had a thunderbolt 2 that would be great um so yeah this is a this is a very nice unit i didn't do much i just put the drives in 
uh, opened the uh, Jobo software. Uh, it's saying that these drives had data before. Do you want to? What do you want to do with it? I just said, okay, let's erase, erase the data on the old drives, which was used for testing on the previous Jobo. And once that's reset, I format the drive, and then away I go. It's ready to go. This is pretty cool. If you have any questions, you could uh, also email me or subscribe to our website, our YouTube channel, and uh, leave a comment. And for the Jobo testing, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, very simple setup. We got all the drives in there. Again, it took me less than like five, 10 minutes to set it up and then away I go.